Hello, Marika and Karen. Welcome here. I know there are a few of my friends that are not able to join me today um, or they have to leave early. So hopefully we can get to this quickly. I know that there is a 30 second delay on Facebook. I, and I don't know if there is on YouTube. I'm, I'm really unsure as to that. Marika, on YouTube, I believe down below, there's just a little arrow that says share. That's all you would do um, in order to, uh, to share the video that you're here, just so that I have a little more traffic. Darlene, hello. I hope I can get to some fun stuff before you have to take off here for the afternoon, and I get that. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Denise Willerton. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Um, right now, the capital of, thank you, Dar, the capital of winter, right? Did I say that? Oh, I should not have said that. Dar, I've got you down for a share. Karen, bonjour. Um, yeah, and you know what? My girlfriend, uh, my, my other girlfriend, Dar, is only here for a bit too. So, Kathy, welcome here. Thank you for sharing earlier. Um, I love that you do that. So whenever I post that I'm going live, Kathy actually shares that, which is really neat. Um, let me bring the camera down and I can chat about stuff while we're doing that. And I will... Uh, keep trying to watch for comments because I noticed that last week I actually missed several. Here is the new annual catalog. Lovely as it is. I'm not allowed to show you the inside, but can I do that? I don't know. I just did. Um, but anyway, this is the new catalog. If you do not have a catalog and you would like to have a catalog, please leave, leave a message right here saying so. And if you're in Winnipeg, I can get that to you or I can mail that to you as well. Let me take like just a minute to talk about some business stuff. Where am I going to put this? I'm all confused here. Uh, April tutorial. If you place a $65 order in my online store, you will automatically get this after I, I see that you have uh, this uh, 35 projects for a bundle tutorial for $65 order. So it's kind of a win-win. If you don't want to place an order, you can still get the bundle. And what you would do is you would send me an e-transfer or a PayPal. And in the comment of the e-transfer, you would write down uh, for April bundle tutorial. And then I know what the, uh, the payment was for. So I would really appreciate if you would do that. Need to pack my... Oh, I know the catalog is fantastic, Chris. It is. So that's the April bundle tutorial. If you are interested in that, you know what? I can do this right here. So down below, that's where you would go. HTTP, da, 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 all of that. Take that down. That will bring you to the Google form that you would fill out saying that you are interested in that. And I can make sure that that happens for you. Okay. The other thing that I'm super excited about is my paper share. So this is all the beautiful paper. And I did showcase some uh, of what I was able to pre-order. I did showcase that a couple of weeks ago when I did my, un my, uh, my unveiling. Uh, but here is kind of a little sneak peek of all of that. If you are interested in the paper share, same thing, you would take down that uh, link address and it will take you to the paper share. Now, if you purchased all of this paper, all of that in, in full, like full packs, it would cost you over $255. So I am offering a share of it. So it's a taste of everything. All of the 12 by 12 will be cut into six by 12 and I will get that. Hi, Cherie. Thank you for that. Um, so this, the, the 12 by 12 will be cut into six by 12. The six by six, you will get one full six by six sheet. Say that fast 10 times without tripping over it. 
And so you would end up with, if I did my math properly, you would end up with 60 12 by 6 sheets of beautiful DSP, and it is amazing. You would also get, did I write that down? Ta -ta -ta. Um, sorry, you would get 60 sheets of 12 by 6. Yes, I, I was correct. And you would get 24 sheets of 6 by 6. So you would get all of that for $70. So that way you get a yummy taste of it all. Last chance project uh, uh, products. This is your last chance. What's the date today? Today is the 21st. So you do have till the end of this month. But if you are interested in anything, Stampin' Up, this is not me that's offering this. It's Stamping Up that is offering this. Today only is free shipping. Okay, so that's an additional 10% savings on uh, whatever you would want. Some sale items are, some retiring items are also on a discounted price. So those that are on a discounted price, you would get an additional 10% off of that. That's what I was trying to say. I am placing an order today. I'm going to hit send and close down the host code that you would use. And that host code is right here if you want to place an order in my online store. Now, the, the free shipping only takes place when you spend $100, okay? But if you are local and you still want to place an order, you know what? Send me what you want and I will make that happen, okay? Enough said about that. Let's get on to why we are really here today. I try not to do a whole lot of commercials because that drives me kind of crazy. Um, but anyway, so here is a beautiful Easter card that I got in the mail from my lovely friend Nikki from um, Alberta. It's beautiful. This is a great example of what you can do with DSP, okay? Sometimes we overthink it and we we try too hard to make a beautiful card. And for those that uh, get emails from me, my my signature, you know, when you sign off, like you say greetings or whatever, I think I say something like uh, blessings and then a little dash and then it says trust the paper. This is what I mean by trust the paper. Look how this came together. So this is that DSP at the very back of the current catalog. This is the flip side of one of them. And uh, what Nikki did was she made a little panel around this DSP, stamped this, cut it in a circle, put a little ribbon, did a little bit of coloring. Look at this card. It's beautiful. Like, Nikki, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stella, hi. I'm so glad that you're here live. How fun is that? And you're on YouTube. That's great. Here is a birthday card. My birthday was um, a month ago now. But here's a birthday card that I forgot to show. And this is from my friend Tamara. And another great example of using the beautiful DSP and not overthinking. This is embossed. This is DSP. One side and then the other. Your sentiment on dimensionals. Boom. You're done. That's, yeah, it's amazing what you can do with the DSP. Just don't over. me. I hope I'm not frozen now because of that. I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. I'm ignoring it. Do you see this peeking out? I can't wait to show you. This is what we're creating today. I forgot to bring. Um, the sketch forward. Is anybody playing along? I did post a sketch yesterday saying this is what I was following. And I don't have a copy of that sketch in front of me. This is a very loose following of it, but I followed it nonetheless. So I used the embossing folder and this is the painted texture embossing folder. This is going forward in the catalog. Okay. So that's what that looks like if that gives you a better view of ugh, all that glare. So you know how you, you kind of get that uh, when, when you mud a wall? That's kind of what it looks like. 
painted texture embossing folder. That's what I used. This was the my original card, okay? And then what I did was I took our brand new, lovely in colors. Here they are. Let me get that right in the camera. Here are our new in colors. Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky. And every time I see that, I go starry, starry sky. Anyway, Parakeet Party, okay? I am going to show you using Parakeet Party how to recreate this. So here is, I'm not going to know this off by heart quite yet. This is Starry Sky, okay? This is Orchid Oasis. It's all the same card, but different, different colors, right? This is Tahitian Tide. This is Sweet Sorbet. And here are the new in colors, okay? Right here, the new in colors. This one, if you look at it, this is, uh, this is Parakeet Party. If you look at that, you're like, oh, it's Granny Apple Green-ish. It's not. Look, this is Granny Apple Green. It's entirely different, right? This next one we could say is maybe Coastal Cabana. This is Coastal Cabana. So again, entirely different. This is Starry, Starry Sky. Very different than Night of Navy, right? This is Orchid Oasis. And they're really, I couldn't really find a color that was sort of close or that we would think would be close. And then this one here, someone the other day during one of my classes said um, that somebody had said that it was basically real red. But this is real red. So again, entirely different, right? And I love the new in colors as well. So if I remove that, and if I remove this one, and this one, and this one, these are the new in colors, okay? And those are available to you coming May the 3rd when the catalog goes live. Again, if you don't have a catalog and you want one, <coughs> pardon me, please let me know and I'll get that to you. Here is the beautiful in-color ribbon. Can you see that glimmer? Calypso coral. I don't know. Calypso coral is more, um, more on the orangey side. Let me see if I happen to have... Uh, Calypso coral on hand really close by. I don't. <coughs> Chris, depending on the time, we might remind me um, later. Excuse me. <coughs> I woke up this morning and Dean was already gone to work. I haven't talked except for on the phone for a little bit today. So. I think I'm having issues, but Chris, remind me close to the end to pull out Calypso Coral because now you've piqued my interest and I didn't happen to have one close by. This is the Baker's Twine that is also in all of the in colors, which is super fun. Tuck that away. And all of these dots on the cards are the matte decorative dots for the in colors. So this is the package that I used to create all of my dots. And you know how, how we all love the black matte dots? These are the in color matte dots. They're fantastic. Let me show you how I created this card. Super simple. Do not forget to share. You'll be entered for the draw at the end and you will get to choose 
one of these cards or even the one I'm going to share. And you know what? Marika has her girlfriend watching with her. So Karen, welcome here. Let's get to the card. I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks along the way. Parakeet Party, the in color. That's already ready for us, already ready for us. Here is my uh, card base panel, which measures, what does it measure? Wow, five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it, but I want to show you a little trick. And I had mentioned this at class the other night. Does anybody have issues when you fold your card over to score it that now your points, your, your, I'm going to exaggerate, but your points are off a little bit. Does anybody have those issues? Because I want to show you a little trick. On your scoreboard, you've got like a raised lip right here, right? That's where your paper would sit so that you know that you're flush before you cut or, or before you... Um, Karen, I do have you down. I've got you right here that you shared earlier. So even if you need to go, hon, your name is, is in there. So if you take your cardstock and you, you push it right up against that lip line and bring this one down and push that up, I've, I've already scored. Now I've got both the bottom and the top kind of pushed up into, um, into that ridge, let's call it. Then you're going to grab your bone folder and there's where you're going to give it your burnish, okay? You want to make sure that you're nice and flush up there. And most of the time, you're going to get a perfectly even and not off-centered like that kind of card. You know how sometimes that happens? That is how you can take care of that okay so we are scored at four and a quarter this is your standard a2 card base okay and that fits in our standard envelopes pick that up before i sit on it so then i took my my card stock so you could you can um like like think about what I'm doing today with any color of cardstock, okay? So you're going to take your cardstock and that measures four and, what did I do here? Four and one eighth by almost five and a half. So five and three eighths, okay? You're going to take that. Let me move these beautiful names out of the way. You're going to grab your cut and emboss machine. So we're going to put that down. Am I kind of in camera? There we go. And then you want the, oh, I've got so much goodness to show you. Where did I put those? Oh, there they are. The stitched rectangle dies, okay? And those are going through in the new catalog, which I'm very excited about. You're gonna take, you're gonna take the largest one, okay, of, of this set here. So here we've got kind of card size, and then on this side you've got long narrow, uh, oftentimes for sentiments. So I'm gonna take the largest one and I'm going to put it down on that piece of colored cardstock, whatever color you want. I've got parakeet Pete or parakeet Pete. I've got what is it called? parakeet party. I was close. Sort of. Sort of. You're going to run that. Whoops. Oh, you know what? Ah, sorry. Before you run that through, here's a trick. You are then going to, on this side, the long narrow strip side, I've got these two taped together already. Okay. I'm going to place that in the middle of this. I don't know if you can see that. Let's go this way. See what I've done? Okay, so if I flip this around this way, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this this way, but let's cover that up. So we've got the big one on that big panel. We've got these two, which are the two biggest of the, the long and narrow. 
right in the center. And you're probably thinking, what is she doing? Or maybe you know what I'm doing. So if you have the rectangle stitch dies, you are going to, I, I don't have a good angle here. I have to go this way. And why am I, oh, you know what? I know what the problem is. You know how sometimes you have a hard time going through your machine when you are die cutting with a, a perfectly straight edge, right? What you want to do is you want to take that whole panel and you want to put it at a little bit of an angle. Do you see how now I'm not going into my machine square with my dies? I'm going in at an angle, okay? I was having a hard time feeding that through. Watch what happens now. Away it goes, okay? So sometimes what happens is, well, hello, Brenda, nice to see you. And you shared, and Carol, thank you, and you shared. Carol, you're on YouTube, that's awesome. I will write your names in a moment. I'm trying really hard not to shake my table while I'm cutting this. So we've taken the stitch rectangle dies, we've gone in on an angle on purpose, okay? Let me pull that off so I can show you what I've done. So I came in, rather than coming in square, which then kind of hits the rollers in the machine and it has a hard time feeding through. If you put this whole thing at an angle like that, being sure that you're all still on your platform, it's gonna start feeding through right here in the corner and it just goes through like butter, okay? So here we go. We're gonna take, this is trash unless you're that person that wants to save, like let's say this right here with all that stitching that you could put on a card. But this is what we're going to use. So that's the largest one. And these are the two largest of the long and narrow. And I'm going to be very careful with my tape that I don't wreck my card stock. So now I've got a hole in the center. Here's what we cut out. I can tuck this away for another card. Brenda, you're very welcome. And because I put these two together, look what I get. There is my little frame. Okay, we're going to set this. is I'm going to set aside. I don't need that. I'll use that on another card. This I'm using today. Okay, these are the two elements that I'm using. We're going to set that aside. And before I go any further, Carol, no worries to apologize at all. So Carol, thank you for sharing. And Brenda, thank you for sharing. And you're very welcome for the tips. Then I'm going to take my basic white panel that I cut with the next size down in the stitch rectangle dies. Okay, so when I cut that, let me take a look here. I did write notes. When I cut this piece, it measures three and a half by four and seven eighths and then I cut it using the second largest okay of the stitched rectangles so that's been pre-done let's take our parakeet party I cheated oh I tried so hard to see if I could remember on my own but I did not alas I did not Let's get our Tombow. You want to flip this over. There, it, when you use your dies, ladies, Dar, that's okay. You drive safe out there, okay? When you use your dies, there's always a right side and a wrong side, okay? So we're going to flip it over because we want our adhesive, obviously, on the wrong side. I'm staying away from the edges, and I'm trying... Where's my card? There's my card base. So here's your standard card base. This is going to go down. And what I'm doing is I am eyeballing northeast, south, and west, or top, bottom, left, right. I'm eyeballing it on the edges, okay, so that I am fairly centered on my card. Now, doesn't that look funny? Then you're going to take 
your embossed piece. You're going to flip that over again because we die cut it. There's a right side and a wrong side. Brenda, do you need a new catalog or do you get one from um, another demonstrator? I'm not sure. Please let me know because I'd love for you to have a catalog. So I've got my adhesive on there. And again, I'm going to eyeball left, right, top, bottom. Just so that my, my little parakeet party that is sticking out is going to be fairly even. Now, the reason why, and I should have mentioned this before I put this on, remember how I cut the center out? Why not? Because now I've got this whole piece of parakeet party card stock behind my basic white. If I would not have done that, then I would have to take another piece and cut my little panel. So this is getting hid anyway, right? So why not? Why not, right? Oh, you're welcome, Brenda. So now we're going to take this little panel and I've got, and again, there's a right side and a wrong side. I, I purchased these. They've got a, a really small, when I'm doing little areas, a little small nozzle. And so I am going to get that started here. I've got just a little thin line, or I could do dots and not a line, but you, you sure don't want a lot. If you tend to be that person that uses too much Tombow, and that's what this is filled with. I put, I put Tombow in there, and I just want to make sure the pin gets put back in there. If you are that person that tends to use too much Tombow, when you're putting your glue down, just kind of say dot, dot, not a lot, okay? So now I'm going to eyeball top, bottom, and just my left-hand side, and it really doesn't matter if you're not perfectly centered, because we're going to be putting a sentiment down anyway. So now you can see how the card is starting to take shape, right? We've got this little frame that happened with no waste because we cut it from the parakeet party that is underneath. This gets to get tucked away for another card, okay? Now I also need my Stamparatus. And we're using Ranunculus Romance, which is beautiful. And this is going forward. I, I took out already the large flowers. It's a beautiful set. This is great if you enjoy uh, creating vintage cards as well, as well as classic. Then we're going to grab, oh, I had a piece of scrap basic white in front of me and I think I used it for something. Let's grab another one. This is kind of bigger than scrap but it'll work and I want to stay in the same family so we're going to use our parakeet party. I love the new in colors. I'm glad I do because you know what? I like the ones that are leaving. And so I was a little bit sad. But when these came out and I saw them, I'm like, what? They're gorgeous. I'm going to take my pressure tool, my girlfriend Darlene, that needed to leave early. Her and her husband create these. If anybody is interested, I have arthritis in my thumbs. This is such a great tool. I love it. And there is our flower. Let's take, put that aside. This is my favorite tool. I need to be posting that. Don't you love it, Brenda? I love it. You must have bought it at one of the stores. My girlfriend actually makes those. We are going to bring in our, oh, here's some goodies that I need to show you. Here are some goodies. Stylish shapes. This is in the new catalog. Susan, hello. Welcome here, my friend. Let me put your name down.
stylish stylish shapes. Oh my goodness, say that fast 10 times. We've got circles, we've got banners. I think that's what those are called. And these are squares and they're all stitched. I don't know if you can see that. See the stitching? Fantastic. I love it. I used this on, which card was it? This one, Happy Mother's Day. That's what I cut that out. And I actually cut it out twice and then just I cut that banner in half and adhered that underneath my sentiment to kind of give the color effect. I don't think I used another one. This one here, that banner that I used for that came from, that's why I pulled these all out because I wanted to show you. That came from the Meadows Dyes. And I'm happy to say that this is also going through in the new catalog because I love that. Thank you, Susan. You have a chance of winning because you shared. And the card that we're, or the, uh, the, the die set that we're using today bundles with the Ranunculus Romance. So there is the die that I'm going to use. Let me poke that little piece out. There we go. And I had not done this one yet. This die here. Who's played with this set? And I was curious to see what it looked like. Look how gorgeous this is. If I put that against that white, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Like there's the start of your card right there. You're just going to put that on a little piece, cut that out, put a frame behind it, have a sentiment hanging over. There's your card. Gorgeous. And yes, I'm stalling because I want to make sure that that beautiful flower is actually green. Now you can see how that's stamped. And my, my parakeet party was really juicy. And if I would have thought of it, I would have uh, moved some of my ink uh, down because see how these stamped a little bit clearer because I wasn't quite as juicy on the, uh, on the stamp pad. Hello, Lorraine. Welcome here, my friend. Nice to see your name pop up. So then we're going to grab our cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to put, I don't, you can't, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to put this down on here and I'm going to grab that little piece of tape. This is just um, post-it tape. And I, because I don't want, whoops, I don't want my die to move. Let's just hold that down there like so. I'm good. Get my plate on top of that. So Lorraine, I'm not sure if you know how to share on Facebook. Um, there's a little, there's a little button, I think, or a little arrow that says share. If you share and you let me know that you have, I can enter your name for a draw. And at the end of my live, I input all of the names of those that have shared and you get to choose one of the cards that I create today. What bundle am, am I using? Susan, this is the Ranunculus Romance bundle, okay? And this is in the current catalog. It is, it is going through, it is going through in the new, but I wonder if the bundle portion of it has disappeared. Um, I am in the new now. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think you can only get it in a bundle in the current. But you know what? Let me double check that it actually is going through. Ranunculus Romance in the new catalog is on page 97. And... 
Yeah, the bundle is no longer available in the new catalog, but it is in the current. So Susan, you've got a few days and you get free shipping today too, if your order is over, I think in the States, I think it's 75. So that's what I'm using. We are going to get some mini glue dots behind this. Make sure that I'm in camera here. And I do like to be a little bit on the generous side with my glue dots. I don't want my card falling apart. And I don't want my flower bowing. I'm not going to worry about the stem. And let's just put one right here. Susan, you're very welcome. Get my dimensional backing off. Let's grab our card. We're going to put that flower down like so. And did I? I did not pre stamp my sentiments. So, you know what, girls? I'm going to let you choose. I grabbed, this is where I got all of my sentiments, okay? Happy birthday came from celebrating you, okay? Just for you came from, where are you? Just for you came from celebrating you. Lots of love came from celebrating you. It's a great set. Just because, oh, you know what? I created this, came from Ranunculus, okay? And Happy Mother's Day came from celebrating you, okay? But I do not know what sentiment to use for this card. So does anybody have, Susan, thank you. Does anybody have um, a thought on what they would like to have on this particular card? And where did I put my stamparatus? I don't know where I put my stamparatus. You would think that that would be like a, just a really small, there it is right there. So, any ideas on sentiment? If I don't hear it shortly, I will choose it myself. Any thoughts on what you would like to see? I'm stalling while I clean this, just in case I miss. So that belongs with Ranunculus, and I'll put that away later. Lots of love. Okay, Brenda, you've got it. Here we go. And that's going to be lots of love comes from celebrating you. See the sentiments? You are every bit of wonderful. Happy Father's Day. Happy birthday. Welcome, little one. Grateful to celebrate you every day. Happy Mother's Day. Congrats. Wishing, wishing you a happily ever after. Um, is there a you're in my thoughts? Okay, that came up first. Um, uh, you're on my mind and in my heart. Uh, the best is yet to come. Lots of love just for you and happy anniversary. So now, Susan, I'm sorry I saw Brenda's first. I don't know why I didn't look up. Girls, duke it out. Let me know. What am I doing? <clears throat> So I don't really have, well, do I have your in my thoughts on this one? I do not. So you know what? I'm going to go with lots of love rather than you're on my mind because this is more square, which would still look nice. But you know what? I'm going to, well, you know what, though? I have, Brenda, I am so sorry. Do I have lots of love? I do. I've got lots of love already. Susan, I'm going to do your on my mind. Okay. Sorry, Brenda. 
I'm not trying to, oh, and I've, I haven't even inked it up. So that's a bonus. Brenda, I hope you're okay with that. I already have lots of love. So if you win, you can choose lots of love. Let's get that mounted. I want to make sure that I've got, um, O-N, what does that mean? On, O-N. I'm not sure what that, if, if that's an acronym for something, Brenda. On my mind is good. I didn't see. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. We want to use Parakeet Party because we're going to stay in that whole uh, color family. Okay. Let's get that inked up. Now, I just tap. I'm a tapper. I'm not a, I'm not a smasher. Let's get our pressure tool. I love my pressure tool. I'd be lost without that little guy. There we go. I want to see, ooh, stylish shapes. Just might be doing some work for us today. Let's see. We could do it that way. Is that cutting it really close? I wonder if that's too close. And I think this one might be a little bit too big. Yep. Let's try this one. Or you know what? I wonder what a circle would look like. Is it okay to put a circle on a card if everything else is square? What do you think? Is it okay to have a circle on a card? Why not? Show me the rule. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see how this pans out. Okay. Let's do it. Of course, says Susan. Let's just be rebels. I'm going to get that centered-ish. Try not to shake my table. And while I'm in the middle of this, let's get that lifted off. But I think I need that to do it with. So that is the one size. I'm going to go up one more size. And I may not use this. Let's close this before I stick my hand in it. And let's run this through. Yikes. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to hold the table straight and and steady while I'm doing this. And I don't uh, I don't really like using my cut emboss machine on my table during my lives. Okay, that is ready in case we decide we love it. So this is what it would look like if we used, I'm loving it. Okay, now I can tuck that under like so, and that's what it would look like with the green border and we're going to put dimensionals on it for sure, or no border. So girls, I need you to chime in, border or no border. That is no border, and this is with a border. Diamond shape. Oh, that would have been cool, right? With the green border. Okay, with the green border it is. Border, border. Sorry, Marika. I missed that because that would have looked cool because then, then everything on the card would have been all, you know, with the straight lines. But this is going to be our rebel card, if that makes us rebels. And I mean, this could even be offset like like so. Ooh, is it too late? Should I offset it or should it be even? 
maybe a smaller one. I know that's the thing because it is, it is a large border, but somehow offsetting it, I'm going to, I'm going to offset it. I'm going to offset it. Let's put some dimensionals behind here. I sort of have something in my head of what I want to do. IDK. Um, obviously, I'm not good with acronyms. IDK. Can't think of what that would be. I like it. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, the offset, and I offset it on the one side on purpose. I, I still want to tuck that under like so. Oh, I'm kind of liking it. I don't know. Oh, okay. IDK, I don't know. I am learning so much today. Wow, Marika, you're you're just acronym girl. Now let's grab our in color dots, matte dots, and they're a little bit um, they're they're a little ombre ish, right? They go from being darker and and they just they kind of change their shade which is kind of nice let's pop these on where did it go that guy didn't want to come and this little one like so and then I have already cut a double bow twine. Hmm. It kind of goes all over the sentiment. So, I mean, that does not ha have to happen, but with or without the twine. That would be with the twine. I was thinking that I would put it here, but... I mean that's still not no I don't know. I think I I think I prefer it there. With or without. Are we done? Without. Yeah, Chris, you know what? I'm kind of thinking, right? Because all of a sudden it's like, all right, how much more are we putting on there? Okay, we're done. We're done. That little beauty is going to be for something else. With twine by the flowers. Okay, we have a little bit of a, of a push-pull happening here. Should we wait and see if there's more with, beside the flower, or without? I am going to add the rest of the names. So when I go to my other screen to add the names on my wheel of names, I can't see the comments that happen. So when I come back, I want to see um, if if we like we'll we'll just do this kind of in a vote wise, right? Whoever whoever has more votes with, okay, we've got two with with by the flower, okay. So two with and one without, three with, four with, oh, one without, okay, four with, one. Two, three with, two without. Okay. All right. Four with. Without. Okay. <laughs> Girls. So somebody, somebody do the tally for me. I'm going to go write the names on the wheel of names. And then when I come back, somebody tell me where we've landed. Okay. So for those that have shared, uh, these are the names that I'm coming up with. Uh, on the wheel. If I forget to mention your name when I come back, please let me know. Kathy, Karen, Dar, who who has, has, has left, but she did share. Sherry, Marika, Carol, Brenda, and Susan. Okay, so somebody take a tally of with or without, 
and somebody else let me know if I forgot your names. Let me share my screen so you can write, watch me create my wheel. Two with, two without. Okay, yeah, obviously I can't count. Wheel of names. I have a couple on there already because they shared earlier. So we've got Karen and Kathy and Dar and Sherry, Marika, Carol, Brenda, whoops, sorry, Brenda, and Susan, Karen, Kathy, Dar, Sherry, Marika, Carol, Brenda, Susan. Let's give that a shuffle. Let me come back. Have I forgotten anybody? Have I forgotten anybody to add to the name? Four with and two without. Well, I think the withs are going to win. So I apologize to the withouts. And here is how I put on my little glue dots. I take my glue dot, I take my, I take my take your pick tool and I kind of roll it into a ball. I try to make it small. So I'm kind of, I'm just smushing it. I put it on the back of my bow and then with my finger, I press it off. And now my bow is Does that help? Oh. Unmute. Ouch. Am I back now? You're welcome, Carol, Karen. I don't know if I'm back now with sound. My phone ringing messed that up. Uh, so I, I am not sure if I am back or not. I am back, okay. Um, so Carol, let me know which card you want if I don't hear from you. 
I will send you a card. Sorry about all of that. I guess when my phone rang, it threw that off. And yeah, that's not fun. That is not fun. So here we go. Carol, congratulations on winning. I will get a card out to you. I will find out which one you want. And uh, I will get that sent in the mail because I know that you are stateside. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a blast. I will see you next week, Thursday at one o'clock. Have a great week and enjoy your weekend. It's almost here. Bye now.